Amanda Nunez reporting from the Challenger Center for Space Science Education in Alexandria, Virginia. On March 18, 2008, NASA astronaut Scott Parazinski gave an exclusive interview to Challenger Center for Space Science Education's founding chairman, Dr. June Scobie Rogers. This vodcast is part of an exciting new series of Challenger Center interviews with NASA astronauts and other acclaimed scientists and explorers. The goal of the new series is to introduce important role models to children and those young at heart. This interview is also available as a podcast on the Challenger Center website, www.challenger.org. And now for the third and final segment of the exclusive interview with Scott Parazinski. We have a section in our podcast about the six pillars of character, and I have a few questions to ask you about that, if you would, would share with us. First of all, as a child, you must have had a, a particularly good best friend. Do you remember a best friend, why that person was? I, I had uh, a lot of uh, really strong friendships uh, as a, a young guy. I mentioned a couple of my buddies, uh, uh, John and Russ, that uh, were my elementary school uh, buddies. Our friendship was uh, just an interest to explore, and, and they were very energetic, fun-loving guys, but also had good good character. They weren't – I guess we got into a little trouble, but uh, I think uh, it also comes – comes down to uh, family. I, mean, I had good role models uh, in my own family as, as they did. And, uh, so we looked after each other. Could you tell us about a, a best friend? Any best friend? or? Yes, tell us about a best friend. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I actually, uh, you know, probably my best these days is a, a guy named uh, Don Clark, and he and I were the same freshman dorm in college. And so we've Stayed close uh, through all those years. Since I'm I'm pretty old right now, that's that's actually most of my life. <laughs> um, but you know, the shared interests of uh, hiking and climbing, but also uh, common uh, family ties. And so he was the best man at, at my wedding, and I was in his wedding. And uh, so our our families have grown up. And uh, on occasion, we we share uh, you know, family vacations and things like that together. Uh, I wanted to ask you a question about respect. Um, is there a person in your life, memories somewhere that you could tell us is a person that you respect the most? Sure. There would probably be several people in this category, but I'll, I'll tell you one because uh, he's one of the people that I believe you're interviewing, and that would be John Glenn. I had the, the real privilege and honor of him on my third mission, STS-95, back in, I guess that was 1997. And uh, I, I the things that... Uh, really struck me about John. He's, of course, a, a true national, international hero, the first American to orbit the Earth, the United States senator for, for many years, uh, did so many wonderful things for our country. And uh, when he came on our crew, the first thing he said to us was that, uh, you know, I'm not Senator Glenn, I'm just John or payload specialist number two. And uh, <laughs> he wouldn't uh, answer us if we called him senator. So, uh, um just that kind of character. Um, another little example of the kind of person that he is, I remember going to the cave on a number of occasions and going out to dinner in the community. And, of course, everybody knows who John Glenn is. And, of course, at that time in, in Florida, everyone that he was about to go fly. And so in a restaurant, people would line up, you know, everyone in the restaurant uh, and their, their kids uh, – would be in line to shake his hand, uh, take their picture with him, get his autograph, and he would stay until every last one of them had their their time. And uh, that's a that's a strong character to do all of that on many levels. You know, it's, it can be very tiring, but he never he never once complained. And and uh, you know, he he would uh, if people are interested enough to stand in line to, to shake my hand, then um, I owe it to them to to do so. Scott, I think that's possibly why so many admire you as well for your uh, your person, and that's a quality uh, Thank that, you. So that we all admire. The next question is, if you would like, has there been a particularly difficult decision that you've had to make in life, you know, just the hardest decision that you can think of, and, and how did you go about it? Well, I, I guess, uh, you know, all of us have... Uh, you know, challenges in, in our lives. No one has, uh, you know, the, the perfect life. I've certainly, uh, uh, I've certainly faced uh, some adversity 
in my life. Um, I guess the the thing that uh, it, it's not so much a decision as something that um, I've had to come to terms with as a as a parent, and um, and try and uh, do the best I can with uh, uh, the situation. But uh, our daughter uh, Jenna is autistic, and uh, so that's a the very uh, significant illness that uh, uh, children. Uh, and grown-ups, for the, that matter, with this uh, condition, have a difficult time expressing this, and, and uh, sometimes uh, with behavior and, and speech. Uh, Jenna is a, a beautiful little girl, uh, but she has her challenges. She she's very bright in, in certain regards, but um, you know it's it's changed the way uh, we approach uh, all of our our families, where we we live, what schools. Uh, we send our kids to, and and uh, it takes a lot of extra effort to uh, to make sure that we have the right environment for Jenna so that she'll get as far as as she can get. So I don't know if that answered your question or not. <laughs> yes, m- most definitely, Scott. You are known in the astronaut corps as a very caring person. You are kind to um, everyone that you meet, and you're you're humble and modest in so many different ways. So a great um, trait. Uh, in Thank a person you. to admire. Uh, and just following on those questions, um, there are chairs that you support in ways that you uh, share your time and mm-hmm. concern for and mm-hmm. and make questions to. Would you share with us who those groups are? Absolutely. Well, of course, the, the Challenger Center uh, is, is uh, near and dear to my heart. And uh, as I go to the summit of Everest, uh, on my, my down suit, I will proudly wear the uh, Tenor logo, and I'll certainly bring back lots of great photos for you. Um, I also will have with me uh, some other special things related to an organization, but uh, to honor uh, fallen astronauts and cosmonauts. So I have a couple of Tibetan prayer flags that uh, honor the Apollo 1 Challenger and Columbia crews, as well as uh, the Soyuz 1 and Soyuz 11 uh, cosmonauts that uh, I'll leave on the summit, and um, you, know, you may know the tradition of these prayer flags. But the idea is that you take them to various places, ideally to the summit of Everest, and uh, the wind and weather um, over the uh, uh, the weeks and months and years take the uh, uh, the flags and lifts them aloft, and and uh, they slowly disintegrate. But uh, you know, the the messages are carried carried upward. You know, so. Uh, I'm very uh, happy to be able to um, to take those those with me, and then I also have a patch on my my down suit that uh, raises awareness for autism because that's near and dear to my heart, my my family, and finally uh, I will have uh, with me a, another little prayer flag for an organization called Purple Songs Can Fly, and it's uh, associated with the Texas Children's Hospital Cancer Center. Uh, but essentially, what they, they enable children you know, battling cancer uh, to try and uh, put aside the, uh, the discomfort and anxiety associated with their, their treatments and uh, make music. And so they, they write songs, they sing them, and they're really incredibly good. And they mean a lot to the, the cancer patients at, at the Children's Hospital, and certainly they touch uh, the lives of everyone who uh, uh, associated with it. So, those are the, the special organizations that uh, will be on my mind as I, I climb up. We appreciate so much considering Challenger Center patches. I, I know that uh, how heavy things get as you turn the mountain. So, so. Uh, we don't burden you with anything really heavy, but do do be um, do, do go up there and can return safely, and we'll look forward to a conversation with you return, Scott. It's been such an honor talking with you that you would even take the time before this um, busy experience to to share your story, and um, I've, I've, I admire you dearly, and even more now having heard these these wonderful presentations for for children to hear. You know, it was a thrill for me, and I, I can't wait to get back and, and share my stories uh, with you and uh, the, the folks at the Challenger Center. And, and uh, uh, I wish, uh, wish you continued success. 